Happy Thursday, everyone. Here we are, the all-star race. We're going to go ahead and try to win this thing. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon supporters for always supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. And let's get into it. That took me 15 seconds, maybe. My intros are getting so much better. I'm, 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 you know, it's flowing, baby. All right, let's go. We got a lot to do before the all-star race, though. So this will be a million dollar race. I don't know if we can honestly compete for it um, because, well, I've never done a 25% all-star race. I don't, you know, the all-star race usually uh, with the 10% races is very short. You kind of just go one bop, you know, bop, 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 bop. Um, but this one's going to be a little bit different in terms of, you know, it's, it's going to be a longer race. The tire wear gets accelerated in these races, uh, and we'll, we'll kind of see how it goes, but we need to bring a good car. First of all, for the all-star race, you got to change up the paint scheme. No more blue on the car. If we're going to be racing under the lights for the all-star race, what color would you want to go with? In honor of Arsenal making a pink kit, I'm going with pink. All right, you know, you guys, you guys know me. I love my pink race. Well, not even just race, but pink kick, uh, soccer kits, pink clothing, pink shoes, pink. I think pink is a beautiful color when it comes to fashion, and it's an underused color in sports. That's just my opinion, okay? You, you can make pink look amazing, especially when you team it up with, like, black. It is, oh, God, it's... Oh, look at it. Okay, but let's go to team management because we've got some things to do. Shop editions, we've got one race left on that. But if you look at the sponsor news, our primary, our secondary, our associate, all around the 81, 82 area, along with driver sponsor. Then if you look at the garage news, we have a ton of overhauls and repairs. So body, chassis, engine. Uh, two overhauls in the body and the chassis. The engine was repaired, so we want to go ahead and most likely overhaul one of the engines. So let's go ahead. We have a hundred and what is it? Well, $1.1 million to work with. We will not be building yet. Remember, we still have one race left. Then we will build the new engine. So uh, let's see if we overhaul this engine. It actually doesn't do anything. So this is actually our best engine. Um, and it, it does not do anything. Are we going to use it? No, we're not. We're not going to use it for all series. So let's go ahead and get this thing ready to go. $146,000 right away. Uh, and then we will go ahead and repair that. Right now, we don't kind of have to overhaul engine number five. Engine number five is probably going to be the one we sell, to be honest. Um, that, that's going to be the situation there. Body number six, uh, if we overhaul it, nothing happens. Uh, that is our brand new body. We will go ahead and repair it for $151,000. Now let's go to the chassis and look what's going on here. So we have that chassis being built for races time. This is our best chassis. The tire wear is pretty low. So we're going to go ahead and use chassis six for the all-star race and the Coke 600. We're going to repair this as much as we can. If we do overhaul it, the tire wear does go to 70. Uh, and that, that makes a pretty, I don't know if it makes a big difference, but we do have a little bit of money to work with right now. But we do have to keep in mind that the shop edition is going to be very expensive when we do it so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead and repair for now and uh we're only going to repair to save a little bit of money to see what we're going to do with the shop additions if we win the so this is why the all-star race is so massive if we win it you go to 1.6 uh, million dollars then you do the coke 600 get to around two million dollars then you do the shop edition for i think it's probably we're gonna do either the body or uh, a chassis upgrade which will be expensive it's gonna be around 1.5 million that's if we get the all-star race win if we don't get the all-star race win we probably have to do one more race save money and then try to get the shop edition or just have to sacrifice not being able to do it in three races time and have to do it in you know or six races time and have to do it in like 12 races time or something so it's just gonna be longer to wait for that shop edition to come in so that is why this all-star race is so incredibly important we're gonna bring the best car we the best car we possibly can it's gonna be a 69 six, it won't be our best car overall because our best chassis and our best engine is number seven and those are still those are being repaired right now so we're going to bring, bring what we got. It's going to be around a 70 all around. You see engine number six is going to be 70. And the body, this is going to be the a little bit of the downside of it is we're only going to have 66 downforce. Car rating of 68. And that's not ideal. So we're going to have a 69, 68 chassis, which for Charlotte or Lowe's Motor Speedways, you want to call it. It's, I don't, I don't think it's enough to win, but it's, it's, you know, We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll see how we do. Uh, it doesn't remember. If we DNF, if we wreck, none of it matters. The chassis, the body, the engine will not wear for the all-star race. So it's balls to the walls. 
just absolutely send this thing in every way possible. We're going for the win. Doesn't matter where we finish. Let's see what we got. I will say in practice, this thing's hauling 198 miles per hour into turn three, but it, it doesn't really stick in the corners. But that engine power right now, watch this thing, 180. We got 186 at the line in the grass a little bit. That's knocking off the speed, but I mean, we're basically going 200 into the corners, which is a good sign. Car's a little bit lacking of grip. I'm gonna run the same, I'm, I'm gonna run it like this. But the good thing about the All-Star Race is that you can easily just make a wedge adjustment on a stop and and if it needs to be looser, like if we need to take risks, we'll just lower the wedge and really go for it. Uh, even lower the tire pressure as well, so that'll be something that we look at. Alright, that's enough practice for me, I'm good to go. Let's see where we start, there's no qualifying, right? I don't think so. Yep. It's sh I don't know where we're going to be starting, so let's see. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Mecca of Motorsports, Lowe's Motor Speedway. The drivers are ready, the fans are ready, and EA Sports is ready to bring you flag-to-flag -flag coverage of all the action. This should be a fantastic race as usual. This track was the first one to focus on spectator comfort, and it shows. This place always draws an enormous crowd. Most of the team shops are located in this area, which give it a hometown feel. We're in for some great racing here at Lowe's. In 2000, Matt Kenseth won the circuit's longest race, the Coca-Cola 600, here at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Well, if you're going to win a race, that's a good one to win. Along with Daytona and Indy, it's one of the most prestigious on the schedule. Ricky Rudd is sporting a new ride for the 2003 season. Yep, he's moved over to the Wood Brothers. Now this is a team loaded with NASCAR experience. Rudd is in his 26 year as a driver, and the Wood Brothers have been fielding cars since NASCAR started. Ryan Newman came out of nowhere in 2001 here at Lowe's, starting from the pole in only his second race. Boy, he was fast that weekend. Unfortunately, he found the dip between turns three and four and looped the car early in the race. Still, you knew you were going to have to start watching out for Ryan Newman. Okay, always good to get a fresh reminder of the all-star race because you know the segments uh so in segment one four tire green flag stop segment two finish in the top 14 inversion on the fan vote second the last segment's a 14 car race so we actually don't really control a lot of our our uh you know what's going to happen in the final segment so let's just do the best we can um let's and see you know see what happens it, it, i would love to finish like fifth and get inverted to first <laughs> that'd be awesome in the final final stage but we are starting in the top 10 i'm happy about that i'm gonna try to get to the bottom right away we're gonna have to let tony stewart go and then crowd mark barn and we are in so remember four tires stop in this segment it's 10 laps which it's not that it's not that much longer than what we were doing before i think the before it was like five laps or seven laps i don't know but it's definitely not not a very i thought it would be longer i thought it'd be like 13 14 laps but i'll take 10 laps let's just uh get up there make sure we don't wreck don't speed all we gotta do is get in the top 20 but right now we're gonna test how fast our car is and i right now in the straights at least it's looking it's looking nice it's looking very nice actually good pass hold it steady three one keep an eye on your mirror he's not too happy with you you're clear um hmm. Can I, I've never taken a mulligan in NASCAR Thunder. You know what? So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a little thing here, guys. All right, watch, watch this, watch this. Ready? Ready? This is a magic trick. Okay? We are going to alt, escape, exit, go right back in, and that never happened. It never happened. We're going right back. It, E Come right back sports. to the All-Star Race, baby. EA Sports is in the game. It never... Hi, EA Mr. Sports Gordon. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Ah, oh, yeah, we're back. Let's go. How's it going, guys? Happy Thursday. We're... <laughs> okay, let me just reselect my stuff. There we go. We're back. It never happened, guys. It never happened. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I hope I'm still starting in the same spot. I will say that. If I'm, if I'm not starting in 10th, I'll be a little bit upset. Oh, wow. We got a better starting position. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Let's go. Now we're starting third. <laughs> My mistake 
ends up benefiting us. Let's go. Alrighty. This is my first attempt. Nothing ever happened. So, and to be fair, it's it's I've never actually restarted a race on this game. So I think I'm allowed to do it for the All-Star race. Don't get mad at me. We're off to go win it. Fourth place. I'm very happy with fourth. We got Ward Burton and Rusty Wallace right in front of us. Jeff Burton's peeking down low. Gotta block that. Gotta minimize my slide up the track. That's how we got in trouble. Uh, before so let's minimize that and just get some clear track be able to run my line See what we get. It's looking like we're pretty even but we do have some straight line speed to so boom right around the outside Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going I'm not really comfortable being on the outside, but it's fine I guess I'll run it and that's not gonna work. Okay, so we gotta go back to the inside But it looks it looks like we're pretty equal with some of the guys up here. Is Rusty gonna block? No, he's not. He's not going to block. All right, so we just got to be patient here. Just going to try and move our way around. If we restart in the top five for segment two, that'd be nice. But it's all about that pit stop that's coming up. All right, so far, my right front tire is fine. And can I peek down here? Yup. And yup. And this is where we had some issues before. And going to have issues. Of is right behind you. Don't be surprised if he gets into you. And for the set the third time, we're gonna alt exit. <laughs> we're gonna cancel that. I'm I'm being stupid entering turn one and driving onto the apron for some reason. I don't really know why I'm doing that. It's not a points race. I'm allowed to restart. I don't want to hear any complaining. Let me have fun. I will make a rule though that after segment one, I'm not allowed to restart. If I DNF, fly into the fence, catch on fire, and die, I'm not restarting. If it's after segment one, that's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's see where we start this time. Sixth. We're in sixth. Okay. <laughs> All right. So still, it's better than the first time around. All right. No more restarts. Let me not drive onto the apron in turn one. I need to stop being stupid. I already made contact right there, but it's fine. Oh, look at the run we got. Oh, I didn't know Kurt Busch was below me. We had such a big run. I had to take it. All right. Here we go. Don't slide up. Back it out. The problem is the chassis is just not as good as the engine right now, and, and it's uh, I guess it's struggling because we're going so fast into the corner that Kind of jarring how much I have to break in order to slow. Look at this, 201 miles per hour. Gotta slow it down a good amount. Turn three is a lot more comfortable for me than turn one though for some reason. I'm not really sure why. All right, these two guys, oh, Jesus. Whoa, my God, I did not realize Michael Waltrip. My, my heart, my heart. Whoa, we got on the brakes and avoided that. That's actually gonna be a massive help because of the green flag stops. That basically guarantees us we're going to finish in fifth. I mean, at worst. So that was huge. Let's just get around Bill Elliott and scream out of here. I just want to, I want to get away from everyone and go. There we go. We're clear. We're in first. I think we definitely have enough speed to win this race. Now it's just time for the pit stop. Right front, right front tire wore down after five laps. Just want to keep an eye on that because I want to lower the PSI in the later segment. So, and the, our only chance to actually do that is going to be on this pit stop. So, I want to see what we're going to do here. I might lower it. I'm not sure. I have no idea yet. But right now, we're looking really good, man. I can't, I can't complain. I don't, I don't think I should make any changes. I mean, we're pulling away. I think Bill Elliott just blew his motor because he just slowed up. Yep, Bill Elliott blew a motor. He's on the mini map. He's there on the back stretch as my all my tires getting worn yet yeah, uh, we're gonna leave the psi at 23 cars getting a little loose uh but it's good on the short run so i think we're not gonna make any changes i, I like how the car is one second of tony stewart let's look this lap we'll come what well, tony stewart's in the clear we're gonna compare ourselves to tony just to see what kind of speed between because it he's probably the fastest car in the field we'll see what we got compared to him and at tony stewart pitted so actually we're not really gonna be able to compare he didn't look like he gained too much time uh, so we will pit uh, this time by books, books, Lewis, books, 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 four tires and fuel. All right, the only thing I have to do is not speed. So let's just take it nice and easy. Nice little arc into pit road. And just casually, I lost so much time <laughs> entering pit road because of how much we were waiting. But it's, it's, it's all good. Right now, as long as we restart segment two in the top five, I'm completely happy. Pit crew, you guys are good. You can make a mistake. You know what? Make your mistake now. Get out of the I don't want any Coke 600, so just get out of the way now if you want. Oh, that's fast. 7.5 on the rights. Ooh. Are we entering 15.1 range? Oh, my lord. 15 flat. Jesus Christ. They want a million. 
How did Ryan Newman beat us up at road? Hey, hey, no, I want it. I want it. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Shoot. Shoot. Out of my way. I want the lead. <laughs> oh, hi, Tony Stewart. No, nope. you're not going. You guys aren't going anywhere. We retake the lead. Let's go. Let's stay in front of Tony. Try to restart first. Nope. You uh, 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 no, 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 no. You ain't going past me. Block, block, block. Block, block, block. There we go. Hey, hey, Tony. See you later, my friend. Yeah, Tony's pretty fast, to say the least. Block, force him up the track. Block him up here. Back up the corner. Oh, he's going to go around the outside. Oh, that's impressive. Okay. Very impressive. All right, Tony. It's only segment one. We don't get any prizes for winning segment one. I will gladly take second. We're in contention, baby, for a million dollars. This is a massive race, man. I, I cannot explain to you guys. This is huge. If we get that million dollars, it's it's a big deal. Alrighty. So, eliminated drivers, the guy that blew an engine. Unfortunately for Bill Elliott, there's nothing special here. Just seven laps. We're on our way. Now, do we actually want to finish first? This is where we don't know what's going to happen because of the inversion. It's all a game here. If you finish first and then they invert the field, well, you're going to be starting, you know, it could be fifth, it could be tenth, it could be fifteenth. We don't really know. Um... So, honestly, I'd probably like to finish around third. I'm not going to lie. Because if you finish third, it, it kind of guarantees you in the final segment being somewhere close. So that's all we need to be is somewhere close. I'm, honestly, I might let Tony Stewart win this segment. I think I probably will. I think it's a good idea. If they're going to inver invert the top ten. So let's just let them win. Oh, yeah. We can definitely win this All-Star race. Oh, yeah. We got the speed. I'm just using this as a little bit of a test session to see if we got the speed. We got the speed. So now we just got to be smart here. So we're not going to win this segment. We're going to stay right here. I Honestly, I might hit the brakes before the end of the segment and uh, probably get to third or fourth. If we get to third or fourth, it kind of protects us in the in, in the inversion. So that's, that's what I want to do. I'm just playing a game. If I want to push, I can catch him right away. If I want to back off, I can back off. But we can catch him. Look at that straight line speed. That's incredible. He's a little bit faster in the corners, but, man, if we just stay close... We have, look, look at that. If we stay close, I mean, it's it's an easy pass. Right here. Watch. Right there. I can pass him right there if I wanted to. We're not going to do that because I don't want to win this segment. And we're going to strategize here a little bit. We're going to back off a bit. Here comes Ryan Newman. Backing off. Backing off. We're going to let Ryan Newman go. So, Newman, go ahead. We are in third. I'm happy with finishing third. This is kind of where I want to be. Maybe fourth, but... Yeah, let's just stay third. Just in case, you know, what if they don't invert it? I'd rather just be third. And now it is not in our hands. This is where we will see what happens. I'm happy to see Tony Stewart win it, because if it does invert, he's going to the back of the top ten. Okay, game, what are you going to do to us? I actually, I'll be honest, I actually, if no inversion is probably the best, the best bet. They inverted a good amount. Uh, I think we're eighth? So they inverted the entire top ten. It would have been better just to keep going back. <laughs> I didn't think they'd invert the entire top 10, but they did. Um, so the fans in the game voted for the entire top 10. Oh, I'm trying it. Oh, don't let Tony go. Ugh. Okay, we're going to have to pass seven cars. Ah, that was the worst case scenario. I did not think they would invert. Because I remember in the, the first Austin race, they did not invert the entire top 10. I think they inverted the top five. But uh, in this one, they decided to invert the entire top 10. And we are off. The good news is we got some slower cars up towards the front. We're going to have to haul. We got five laps to win ourselves an all-star race. Either bring home the checkers or bring home nothing. And Tony Stewart's getting a little bit loose there. Going to try and get on the bottom of them. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I just, need, I just need to get clear of these guys and then I can start making some moves. This is going to be really important right here. Getting in the draft. Driving in under Junior. There we go. Keep it going. We, unfortunately, Kevin Harvick's the leader, and Harvick's definitely not slow, so we're going to have to be pretty quick here. Up into sixth. Got three laps to go this time by. Up into fifth. Underneath Ward Burton. Let's not slide up here. Don't drive on the apron either. Come on. That's a good corner. This is going to be close. I think we can catch him, but it's going to be close. I would much rather have someone other than Kevin Harvick be the guy in the lead. But, man, oh, man, we got to get to second by the entry of turn one. If we get to second, that'll be good. Yeah, turn, 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 turn. All right, we're going to get a run. We're going to get a run. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's going to be third. Oh, it's going to come down to the last lap. It's going to come down to the last lap. 
Uh, I cannot get held up here. We cannot get held up. I'm, I'm gonna have to set it up. I'm gonna have to set it up. It looks like Burton's blocking. Come on. Maybe go down low. Oh, he's blocking. He's really blocking. We're gonna force our way in there. Oh, I'm gonna lose too much time. I'm losing too much time because he's blocking. No! You prick! Oh, that was it. We lost so much time. Can I make up five tenths in one lap? I have no idea. Come on, come on, come on. Tires are worn. I don't care. Send it, send it, send it. Go, 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 go. It's just we're one lap too late. We're one lap too late. Uh, if I had one more lap, I would have caught him. Oh, man. One more lap, I would have been there. Uh, that inversion screwed us. Damn it. Damn it. <sighs> Damn inversion, man. Damn inversion. Only five laps, too. That was 25% races, man. Why is it only a five-lap shootout? Ugh. Uh, do we get anything? Special event, all-star race. We got $22,000 for finishing second. Ah, uh, man. Oh, that would have helped us so much. That was such a huge race. I tried my, to be honest, to go from eighth to second in five laps is is pretty impressive in itself. But man, I mean, look, Tony Stewart finished sixth. I should have just fell back further. I should have fell back further. Man, oh man. That's unfortunate. We put on a good show, to say the least, but that doesn't really mean anything. We would have had 1.6 million in the bank and set ourselves up. But the good news is, is that for the Coke 600, we got a strong car. It's very obvious that we got a strong car. So, uh, we should be able to get a good result there, but I'm a little disappointed, I will say. I'm a little disappointed. I will see you guys, uh, later. Actually, tomorrow. Um, we'll probably be back on NASCAR Thunder 2004, uh, maybe Saturday. I want to get back on this game. So, Saturday, we'll do the Coke 600, most likely. I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. <sighs> I'm sorry I couldn't bring home a million bucks. Take care of yourselves. See you for a very long 100 lap. Coke 600, and see you tomorrow for another video. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.